Hey guys, welcome back to Exploring Temecula. Today we're gonna to go over five of the top communities to live in in Temecula. Okay guys, so number one, Paloma del Sol, and I did this video and blog post a while back, but I wanted to talk a little bit more about it and put it in my top five communities uh, for a few reasons. Number one, there's so much to do inside the community. There's like four or five pools, there's tons of green space, lots of walking paths, and they even, uh, yeah, they even have a, not miniature golf, but frisbee golf course. Um, so again, there's tons, of, tons to do for the residents, and the HOA cost, I think it's around $120 a month, which is relatively inexpensive for everything that the community has. Uh, I've talked about this before, but a lot of places in Southern California, they'll have HOAs and they give you nothing for them. They might, uh, you know, upkeep the grounds to some degree, but you, there's really no benefit to you. That's not the case in Paloma del Sol. So, uh, beautiful community and number one on our list. Number two on the list is Meadowview and I'm picking these top five communities and I'm trying to do a variation of different types of lifestyles. Uh, Meadowview is going to be larger lots, you know, anywhere from just say three quarters of an acre up to two acres. Uh, there are some horse, um, you know, there is some horse property there um, with horse facilities is what I'm getting at. But uh, for the most part, Meadowview is just that country type lifestyle, um, quiet, but everything's close to you. It's right off the 15 freeway. Uh, and again, if you click in the link in the description, it'll take you directly to that specific community. So you can get a feel for it yourself. I did some drone shots. Uh, I mean, the green space in the Meadowview community is huge. It's, you know, I think it's 300 acres. Um, but again, yeah, lots of things to do, uh, horse trails, walking paths, and if you like the country lifestyle, definitely check it out. Okay, number three, Crown Hill. A uh, few reasons I like Crown Hill. Number one, just for investment purposes. I think because it's so close to the wineries and wine country in Temecula is growing and I see it getting a lot more popular in years to come, I think it's just going to go up in value because it's so close to the wineries. Uh, number two, the taxes are low. Number three, um, the HOA is only like 70 bucks a month. So there's lots of benefits of Crown Hill. Uh, again, when I did the video there, it's a really quiet community. Um, I talked to a few of the residents and they love it there. Uh, yeah, so it's sort of middle of the road in regards to cost in Temecula, but you get a lot for your money and the location is great. Lots of schools, shopping, grocery stores, everything close by, probably within a five minute drive, everything that you need. So number three on our list is Crown Hill. Okay, so number four, because I'm a golfer, I had to get a golf course community in. Uh, I chose Temecula Hills. Uh, it's a beautiful area. I know, t I know Red Hawk is very popular in Temecula and I am producing content right now for Red Hawk. It's just such a big community with a lot of sub communities around. So it's just a whole nother long video and blog posts and everything, but I will get to that. But for now, Temecula Hills, again, it's a beautiful area. When I was doing the video for this community, I actually talked to one of the residents that was originally an owner when it first uh, was built. And she was just saying how Temecula Hills used to be on the outskirts of Temecula. And because Temecula over the last 20 years has grown so much, Temecula Hills is pretty much in the middle of Temecula now. So, um, you know, for you guys or for people that like the golf lifestyle, uh, it's got a beautiful clubhouse, again, nice golf course, uh, and it's close to everything that you need, um, you know, just like many other communities in Temecula. Okay, guys, so, last but not least, I had to get some horse property in, and although Meadowview uh, is horse property, I still think Los Ranchitos is, uh, you know, number one in that regard. There's just, it seems like the, the lot sizes are bigger in Los Ranchitos than the horse facilities are just more prevalent in, uh, in the Los Ranchitos community. Uh, again, I mean, there's so many people across America that, that love horses and what better place to have horses than someplace that's 70 to 90 degrees, eight months of the year, always sunny. 
Um, great safe community, uh, close to the freeway. Um, so yeah, a Los Ranchitos, again, check it out. Uh, and I don't think that, again, you're going to find too many communities across Southern California um, that are better suited for people with horses. Okay guys, there you have it. Five of the top communities in Temecula. Again, go in the description, click on the link, and it'll bring you to a blog post that you will have links to all these specific communities with home searches. Uh, and if you have any questions, reach out. Uh, I'm broker owner here at Greenleaf Real Estate in Temecula. My wife's a licensed appraiser. Uh, we've been doing this for a long time and I, I'm glad to help you. Uh, I mean, even if you're coming here on vacation, give me a call. I can give you some uh, insight on the area, what you should do, what you shouldn't do. But again, thank you for watching and hopefully we all get over this uh, through this coronavirus soon. Um, and until next time, 